Hello everyone and welcome to another edition of All About the Cars of Gran Turismo 7. In this video we're going to learn all about the Amuse S2000 GT1 Turbo. Now this car is only available for purchase at Brand Central under the Amuse dealership and it costs 250,000 credits to purchase. And we're going to start by going over some of this vehicle specs. First this car comes with 667.51 performance points. It has an FR drivetrain, meaning that the engine is situated at the front of the vehicle and the rear wheels drive the car. The maximum power is 616 horsepower at 8,000 RPM. The weight is 2,469 pounds and the engine is turbo aspirated. Now we'll click on this car and one of the cool things about buying a car at Brand Central is that you get to choose the car from the dealer and this particular car comes in 14 different colors. I'll show you each of those quickly here. So what you'll do is you'll choose one of these colors, back out to the previous menu, click on purchase to buy the car in that color. All right, now we're going to click on learn more and see what Martin has to say about this car. This tuned Honda S2000 was produced by Powerhouse Amuse, some of the best Honda tuners in the business. They turbocharged the S2000's 2.0-liter F20C straight-4 engine and enlarged it to 2.3-liter, producing 617.4 horsepower of power. The body kit was developed in collab collaboration with the developers of Gran Turismo. Its longer nose and added diffuser make this model as aerodynamic as any fully-fledged racing car. You won't know how smooth a ride can be until you take one of these for a spin. Alright, that's everything we can learn about this car from Brand Central, so we're going to back out to the main menu now. And go to the garage where I'll get into this car and we'll learn some more about it. So here at the garage, I'll click on Change Car. We'll scroll down to this vehicle and I'll click on it, we'll listen to the startup sound, and then we'll learn some more about it. Alright, we're going to click on Car Collection, go to this vehicle, and we'll learn some more by reading this short description about it. Development engineers of Gran Turismo contributed with Amuse to build this ultimate S2000. Powerhouse Amuse knows a thing or two about tuning the S2000, whether the venue be a wind winding mountain road or a high-speed racetrack. Among its more notable creations is the S2000 GT1. The design of the unique full-body kit was actually created through cooperative development with Polyphony Digital. Not just for looks, the Amuse S2000 GT1 boasts awesome aerodynamic performance equal to that of full racing machines, especially its long nose that provides downforce at the front of the car. Hideki Tanabe, the president of Powerhouse Amuse, and a driving expert himself widened the car to 72 inches, while reducing weight as much as possible. He did so by incorporating carbon fiber parts wherever possible and replacing other components with lighter materials. As a result, the total weight of the car was reduced to approximately 2,469 pounds. According to Amuse, the base F20C engine's displacement was increased to 2.3 liters and combined with a GT30 Pro S turbine. The addition of the turbocharger required reinforcement of the engine block and other parts, but it was well worth it as output of the Amuse S2000 GT1 is a whopping 617.4 horsepower and 383.3 foot-pound of torque, giving the car an incredible weight-to-power ratio of 4 pounds per horsepower. Shifting is done via a 7-speed gearbox with paddle shifters, which makes the Amuse S2000 fit to attack any track on the planet. All right, well, that's some great information about this car from Gran Turismo's description about it. Now we're going to back out to the main menu once again and go next door to the cafe where we'll see if anybody's here to talk to us about this car. And we have one person, and that's Kagura Zaka, so let's see what he has to say. Whoa, now this is most impressive. The GT1 Turbo Specs, brought on by some powerful tuning, has separated this automobile from the base model. Because of that, the design of the original automobile 
has been engulfed by the almost violent nature of the added-on parts, greatly changing its essence. The S2000 was originally designed to make the front overhangs appear short, but the contrasting proportion of the nose with its wedged shape design on this car was only possible because of the front mid-engine layout of the S2000. There's a lot of room for the intervention of design, especially in the details. And one can say that its taste comes from a perceived absence of design, making this car a lovable monster. All right, we're going to make one final stop down at the tuning shop where I'll show you everything that can be done to improve this car's performance and power. So here at the tuning shop, you have to remember that this car already comes um, heavily modified by the Amuse folks. So there's not going to be a whole lot that we can do to it under certain categories here, especially under the sports categories. As you can see, everything here is not available except for the tires. Under club sports, much of the same here. Actually, the only two things that you can add are power reducing items, which are the power restrictor and the ballasts. Under semi-racing, you can add a fully customizable computer, a fully customizable LSD, the fully customizable manual transmission, and you can increase the body rigidity. And under the racing category, you can add the racing muffler, the slotted racing brake kit, the brake balance controller, the fully customizable suspension, the fully customizable racing transmission, and any of the racing tires, but everything else on this page is not available for purchase. All right, while there isn't a whole lot that you can do to this car, there is some that can be done to improve its performance and power above their already impressive levels. All right, that's everything we can learn about this car from Gran Turismo 7, so I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope it helps you to determine whether or not you'd like to add this car to your collection. Stay tuned for more videos highlighting all of the cars of Gran Turismo 7. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.